everybody, it's Mrs. C and I'm here with Reagan. Hi. And since we're learning all about wind, we thought it would be fun to show you a game that you could play at home using wind from your body, also known as your breath. So you're gonna need a straw and you're going to need a cup, a plastic cup or a paper cup. We put our names on here, right? So we know whose is whose since they're the same color. And we are gonna have a little race. We're going to use our straws to blow air through them or wind to push our cup to the end of our table to the finish line. So what do you think? Do you think this is about winning or do you think this is about you something know, else? I think I don't care if I win. It's just about having fun. I mean, you can always win next time I know and practice makes it perfect, but it's just about really having fun. That's right. It's just about having fun. And it might be hard at first, so just keep trying, right? Keep practicing. So you guys are gonna help us count down from three. We're gonna count backwards from three to start our race. Okay, you ready, Reagan? Okay, three, two, one, go. I'm gonna show you a couple other ways that you can do this too. So, see you in a minute. Another way to play a wind game at home is by using Play-Doh and a little tin foil ball, or a cotton ball or a ping pong ball would work as well too. Use your hands to roll out the Play-Doh into long strips that look like snakes. Once you've rolled all of your strips out, you can begin connecting them together to make a path for your ball. Now grab your straw and use your breath, or the wind, to push your ball all the way down the path to the finish line. Reagan also thought it would be really fun to use Connor's train tracks to set up another path. Look around your house. You might have other things that you can use to make your own path. Hi guys, we hope you had fun with the wind game at home. And if you try it, send us some pictures. Did you have fun, Ray? I'll color it. Hey! <laughs>